There are questions tonight about a federal cabinet minister potentially breaching ethics rules. Global News has found employment minister Randy Boissonneau's former company was awarded a federal contract earlier this year while he was still in office and held shares in the company. Krista Hesse has been investigating Boissonneau's business dealings. Krista. Donna, we've learned that Global Health Imports, a medical supply company Boissonneau co-founded, received a contract from Elections Canada in January. At the time, Boissonneau owned a 50% stake in the business. Generally, ethics rules allow ministers to have shares in private companies as long as those companies do not obtain federal contracts. Section 13 sub 2 says clearly... Public law expert Ian Stedman told Global News the minister appears to be in violation of the Conflict of Interest Act, but said ultimately it is up to the interpretation of Canada's ethics commissioner. If it does apply, uh, then I think you have a real, a, a real conundrum uh, for Mr. Boissonneau. The act contains an exemption to this rule if the ethics commissioner decides the contract or interest is unlikely to affect the minister's official duties. The commissioner's office said it could not comment on Global News' findings due to confidentiality. Boissonneau's office said he was not involved with this contract and had no knowledge that Global Health Imports, or GHI, had bid on it adding that the minister stepped down from any operational role with GHI after his election in 2021 and has not been involved with any contracts obtained by GHI since then. His office argued the exemption should apply. Elections Canada awarded GHI a $28,000 contract to supply disposable gloves. The contract is active, Elections Canada said, but no orders or payments have been made. Minister Boissonneau doesn't himself have to receive the benefit but the, the corporation that he has an interest in has to benefit. Stedman says the benefit could simply be the contract itself. I wrote to Mr. Boissonneau again yesterday. After deciding not to launch a formal investigation into Boissonneau in June, two weeks ago, Canada's ethics commissioner said he is reopening his case file over new texts Boissonneau's former business partner sent in 2022, citing communications with someone named Randy. Both Boissonneau and his business partner deny Boissonneau is the Randy in the text. You know, that business is, is rewarded with... Tory ethics critic Michael Barrett called on the ethics commissioner to investigate the contract. Randy Boissonneau shouldn't, uh, you know, shouldn't be serving in, in, in the federal cabinet if he's found guilty of breaking Canada's ethics laws. Boissonneau surrendered his shares in GHI in June after Global News reported on the text messages and lawsuits against the company. Courts have ordered GHI to pay six companies nearly $8 million to date. None of the lawsuits named Boissonneau, and he maintains he has had nothing to do with the company since he was re-elected. Donna? Krista Hesse in Toronto, thanks.